there is still some business to be sorted out on Saturday. With the board GS Energy All-Ireland U21 titles to be handed out. But the first Sunday in September is now behind us. With Galway crowned winners in the minor and senior grades. The dust is settling on a memorable 2017 campaign and there are some fantastic moments to reflect on. In no particular order, we look back on 12 of the best but on a glorious Sunday afternoon in May. The band in player came off the bench to make his Cork senior debut before scoring a goal against Tipperary. After being drafted in by then-manager Jimmy Barry Murphy ahead of the 2014 season, Capelain was making steady progress. He featured against Limerick and Offaly in the Allianz Hurling League but it was later discovered that the player had an enlarged heart and had sustained a viral infection. He was advised not to play again but Kef Helene found a way and his perseverance was rewarded with a Munster medal. 2. Wexford Park pitch invasion in June. Wexford pulled off an historic Leinster championship victory over Kilkenny. The Slaney Siders had made steady progress in 2017, winning promotion from a Division I B group that also contained Limerick and Galway. Davy Fitzgerald's men gave a good account of themselves in the league semi-final against Tip at 10. June was the date etched in their minds. And with Davy suspended and watching on from a specially constructed box, they delivered in style against the Cats at Innovate Waxford Park, sparking scenes of mass elation at full time. 3. The opening of redeweloped PIRCU Chawive in the 19th of July. The redeveloped PIRCU Chow IMH staged its very first hurling fixture. A few days later, fans from Tipperary, Clare, Wexford and Waterford made the trip to Cork for the All-Ireland SHC quarterfinals. They were two memorable days. As Tip beat Clare before Waterford saw off Wexford in the Southeast Derby. 4. Proudy Mar meets his match in Geard McInerney in the 2016 All-Ireland semi-final. Tipperary powerhouse PDRAIC Mar met Galway's Joe Canning with a crunching shoulder on the Hogan. Stand side of Croke Park. A year later, the tables were turned as Mar ran into Galway's man Mountain Geard McInerney and was sent bouncing to the turf. McInerney's refusal to bend was the sign of a new Galway and the tribesmen would win an enthralling game by just a single point. More on that and on. 5. Over 8. Oh 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 at PIRCEU Rin for a Munster Minor semi-final Cork won the Electric Ireland Munster Minor crown but they were given a stern test by 2016 Provincial and All-Ireland Champions Tipperary at the semi-final stage. The counties fought out a classic semi-final stalemate in Thurles and had to do it all over again. At PIRCEU Rim just a few nights later, a massive crowd of over 8 000 descended on the Cork City venue and they weren't left disappointed by another brilliant clash. 6. Austin Gleeson's goal against Cork Ireland final day might not have gone according to plan for. 2016 Hurler of the Year Austin Gleason, but the Waterford star played a big part in his side getting there. His goal against Cork in the semi-final was a thing of beauty. You've probably seen it before but if you haven't, here it is again. If you haven't, enjoy. 7. Joe Canning's winner against Tipperary Big Moments Demand Big Players and so it was when Joe Canning slotted over a quite sensational winning point to dethrone champions. Tipperary in the All-Ireland semi-final. Four additional minutes were signaled and the clock struck 74. Oh oh when Canning got his shot away. It was a score worthy of winning any game. Eight and a family affair on final day last September. Brian McGrath captained Tipperary's minors to All-Ireland glory before his brothers John and Noel won senior medals on the same day. Twelve months later, it was very much a family affair for the Cannings as Jack scored two goals in the minor decider before his uncle Joe picked up that coveted Celtic cross.
Carlsberg really do hurling Sundays. 9. Galway honor a legend by reaching the Holy Grail The hurling world was stunned and saddened by the untimely passing of Galway hurling legend Tony Keady. He was man of the match in the 1988 All-Ireland Final when the tribesmen previously lifted the Liam McCarthy Cup. But Galway honoured his memory in the most fitting fashion by ending that 29-year famine in style. On Sunday, the Galway management and players made sure that Tony's wife Margaret and their children weren't forgotten in the post-match celebrations. 10. Waterford claim first victory over Kilkenny in 58 years Waterford may have fallen short in their bid to win a first All-Ireland senior title since 1959. But Derek McGrath's charges did manage to beat Kilkenny in the senior championship for the first time in 58 years. Extra time was required to separate the neighbours in a memorable qualifier at Semple Stadium in July. As Jamie Barron and Maurice Shanahan scored extra time goals after the Cats had come from the dead to salvage a draw. 11. Cork are back. Reports of Cork Hurling's demise have been greatly exaggerated. The Rebels came from nowhere to win a first Munster senior hurling title in three years. They did it the hard way, too. Seeing off Tipperary, Waterford, and Clare to lift provincial silverware. Their bid for All-Ireland glory may have ended at the semi-final stage against Waterford, but this was a positive season for Kieran Kingston and his men. 12. David Burke speech David Burke became the first Galway captain since Connor Hayes in 1988 to lift the Liam McCarthy Cup, and the St. Thomas man was in top form on the steps of the Hogan stand as he hoisted the precious silverware aloft. We don't think he left anybody out here.